Hi everyone and welcome back to our Prophetically Whole series. I'm Kay Nash and today we are going to be talking about prophetic word organization. Okay, so have you ever felt like you just have prophetic words all over the place? You don't even know where they are. You don't even know what's going on. You know God said a bunch of stuff and I honestly believe in the prophetic culture we can struggle a lot from organizing our prophetic words, you know. You might have something God told you two years ago in this journal. You might have something God told you last week in this journal. You might have something God told you at a conference in this journal. And then they're sitting over there somewhere and you don't even remember what God said. You don't even know where in the journal it is. You're all like, uh, God says something and you're looking for it and you don't even know what he said. And it's important that you start organizing your prophetic words so that you remember all the things that God said to you now. I don't think you need to organize every single thing. You know, God tells you he loves you. You might not need to organize that because he's probably going to tell you that all the time. Now, I'm talking about things that are for the future, things that are supposed to happen to you. Now, if you can't believe that God loves you and you're at that basic revelation of God, then maybe you do need to put that on the wall. God loves me and everything. So, first of all, let me teach you how to prophetically organize your life with all these prophetic words. Because you can go to a conference, get a word, forget about it and it just gets lost and you're like, why isn't this coming to pass? But you honestly don't even remember what the full word was. Now, okay, whenever you feel like you get an important prophetic word, the next step is to get that on an index card or something outside of a journal because journals have tons of pages and you might lose it, okay? You might f try to keep flipping for it and can't find it. You might forget which journal it's in. So if I'm spending time with the Lord, and I get a significant prophetic word. By significant, I mean something like move, or you're gonna get this car in a couple of years, or you're gonna get a house, or you're gonna have a baby, or you're gonna get married, or and there's a time frame to it, or there's a verse with it, or something like that. You might wanna stop what you're doing and put that into something else. Now, the next thing I do after that, and obviously you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it, but I'm just trying to help you think here is that I have a vision binder, okay? I hate this, this lighting is so bad. This says vision on it, but, but anyway, I have a vision binder and in it I just have all this kind of stuff that God has told me will happen and I just throw it all in here until the time where I feel like it's going to come to pass. If God says something's gonna happen in a year, God says something's gonna happen in two years, God's gonna say something's gonna happen in three years. And that way I know all the important words are in the binder and just random little stuff like go to Walmart today, that's not in a binder, that's just in a journal with okay, got it, you know, whatever. Now, the next thing is you review your vision binder every once in a while and you say, oh wow, this one's supposed to come to pass in the next six months or this is supposed to come past this year or whatever. And you take that one and you put it before your eyes. That could be on a chalkboard, um, a bulletin board or something like that. Um, it could be in the front of your prayer journal. It could be on your mirror. Um, it could be in your car, on your rear view mirror. You know, wherever you're gonna see it. it when, some, when a vision is about to birth, when you see that the timing of the vision is supposed to come to pass, that's when you need to get it right before your eyes because you need to start really coming to alignment. You need to really start believing that in a deep way. Now, after it comes to pass, then what do you do with that? Then I put it into the, and some of you know that I've talked about this before, then I put it into this binder. This is the Remembrance Journal, okay? And so I write down everything that God did, when he did it, how he did it, and I put it all in this journal. Sometimes there's a picture, sometimes it's just some text, whatever, okay? And so, so I kind of have a several step process. Number one, I get the word from the Lord. Number two, if it's significant, I put it on some kind of notebook paper, index card, draw it out, whatever. Then I put it in my vision binder. Then when it's about to come to pass, I put it before my eyes somewhere. And then after it comes to pass, I write about it in my remembrance journal. And so I kind of have a process for my prophetic organization. You know, I think the body of Christ can go to a conference every weekend and they got so many prophetic words, they don't even know what to do with them. They don't need how to organize them. They think they need another prophetic word. They don't need another prophetic word. They need organization of their prophetic words. Whew, I feel the Lord on that. You don't need another prophetic word. You need organization of the words you already got, okay? 
You need to know the things that are coming to pass. Now, some of you, it's not even that you don't have the words. You have no idea about the timing, okay? The Bible says the sons of Iskar knew the times and the seasons. You might need to go ask the Lord, when are these words supposed to come to pass? Because, you know, some of you are like, God told me I was going to get married, and it's been three weeks since he said that, and you haven't seen a guy anywhere, and now you're all discouraged. Well, God might be saying three years from now, and I hate to bring that discouragement to you, but you got to set yourself some realistic expectations by getting before the Lord and getting a more proper timing. You know, before I met my husband, I got a prophetic word from somebody at my church, and they said, love next spring. And I knew that that meant that I was going to like something with my husband. And that is exactly what happened. But I had that in my head. But I kept praying into that, you know, okay, God, you said new love next spring, new love next spring. And literally, I think it was like two days before spring was going to be over. I met my husband and the rest is history from there. But it's like I kept that before my mind. I kept that before my mind. Now, if you weren't given a time frame, you know, just put it in the vision binder until the time frame. But don't assume a time frame that is going to get you discouraged, okay? And we also want to do a remembrance journal because we want to praise God for all the things that he's done. And not only do we want to praise God for all the things that he's done, but we also want to just encourage ourselves in faith. You know, if you're having a bad day, just start reading your remembrance journal. I remember all the things God did for you in the past couple years. And you'll start thinking, wow, what is God going to do for me in the future? And you'll start getting excited and your faith will start to increase again. Now, if you're like, okay, I don't even know what God's saying. I have no idea. I would encourage you to get my book. It's called How to Prophesy. It's going to teach you about getting prophetic words, stewarding them, knowing the times and seasons, how to deliver them, everything like that. You can get that at knashministries.com. That's on my store tab. Um, and you can get it on ebook as well. So you can get that there. But this is really important because I think a lot of prophetic visions in the body of Christ get lost. They get forgotten about. You're confused on what the vision was because you can't actually find it. You thought God said something, but he actually said something else. And, you know, you might have taken it to mean something. But when you actually go back, are able to go back and read it, you can see, oh, that's what you meant by that. And so... I just want to encourage you, get prophetically organized. Don't have all this stuff all over the place, okay? It's time to organize your prophetic visions because more of them are going to manifest that way. All right, you guys. Well, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you soon on our next Prophetically Whole series video. All right, love you guys. Bye.